Happy Buns here. He's got Happy New Year. How are you? Call this meeting to order. The following is the agenda for the reorganization meeting of Borough Compton Lakes Mayor Council Municipal Corporation. In the County of Pusey, the meeting will begin at 6 30 p.m. on January 3rd in the Municipal Building, 25 Lanes Avenue, Compton Lakes. Adequate notice of this reorganization meeting has been provided in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Law, Public Law 1975, Chapter 231, setting forth the time, date, place, and purpose of this meeting. Through a legal notice published in the Suburban Trends newspaper on December 17, 2023, and notices mailed to the following named newspapers, the Herald News, the Star Ledger, and the Record, and posted on the bulletin board in the Borough Hall on December 17, 2023. Please stand for Silver the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As we enter into as we enter into 2024, I ask for good health and prosperity for all. Okay, I'm going to read the results of the election. On November 7, 2023, general election results have been certified by the state county clerk as follows. I received a certification of the November 7 general election results by the state county Daniel Ireland and Hop, which states that Michael A. Sauer received a total number of 1,237 votes and is elected as mayor for a four-year term. Ekman Dennis received a total number of 1,687 votes and is elected to council for a three-year term. And Maria Kent received a total number of 1,681 votes and is elected to council for a three-year term. Okay, I ask that Mike, can you open the door slightly for me? Fire alarm. Okay, I think. Senator Bradshaw, come up. Come on up. You're on. Let's go. Yeah, you too. Okay. Let's make this legal. I state your name. I, Michael Sarah. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in, and in this state under the authority of the people. And in this state under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform. That I will faithfully, partially, and justly perform all the duties of office of the mayor of the borough of Pompton Lakes. Office of, of the mayor of Pompton Lakes. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. Help me God. Congratulations. Thank you so much. There you go. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Oh, thank you. I, Ekman Yenin. I, Ekman Benin. Who solemnly swear. Who solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the government established in the United States. 
to the governors established in the United States and in this state, in this state, under the authority of the people. The authority of the people. And I will faithfully, and I will faithfully, impartially and justly perform, impartially and justly perform all the duties of, all the duties of, office of municipal council, office of the municipal council, according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. Help me God. Thank you. I stake your name. I, Maria Kent, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of. All the duties of. The office of municipal council. The office of municipal council. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy New Year, Okay. Uh, well, I'll start. I have a couple words. I'm honored to be elected to my third term as mayor of this wonderful community, Pompton Lakes. You know, in the 15 years of public service, in 15 years of public service I've put in, my main focus has always been to keep Pompton Lakes a family-friendly community and to try to stabilize our taxes in these trying times. <clears throat> I thank all the residents and their confidence in electing me into this position and knowing I have overwhelming support from the community helps me get to get this job done. I must thank my family for putting, me, uh, putting up with me being out of the house quite often, which I'm sure they're very happy about. <laughs> I, have to uh, I have to thank our wonderful volunteers and committee members we have in our town and our borough and quarries, of course. They, all those people help me do my job that I have to do up here. I have to thank this outstanding council that's constantly working all the time to make things better for our community. I want to thank Senator Joe Panaccio for taking time out of his busy day. He had to leave to run to another event. Um, I'm very excited about moving Pompton to the next four years. Pompton has always been a community-minded town with residents that take the time to stop and talk and state their mind, good or bad, and say hello at any time they can. That's what's making us the jewel of the community and the jewel of the county. So on to four more years, and I look to big things from everybody up here, so thank you. Uh, Council for them, or I'll go with the woman first. Councilwoman Kent. Right. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. Um, I just want to thank all of those who supported me throughout the election process. It was a crazy process, but I thank you so much for all your support <coughs> and follow through. I ask God for his guidance and courage in my journey as your councilwoman. And as always, I will do my best to serve the community with dignity and cardinal pride. I'm going to send my blessings to all of my family. Thank you for all that you support to my friends both near and far, and to all the Pompton Lakes residents, I wish you all a very safe, happy, and healthy New Year's 2024. Thank you.
Councilman Bennett. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, start off by thanking my family for dealing with me. The last, the last 12 plus months have not been easy, and I appreciate your understanding and patience. I also want to thank our supporters from both elections this year. You guys know who you are. Lastly, thank you, Pompton Lakes. I look forward to serving you for another three years, um, and Happy New Year. Thank you. Okay, roll call, please. Here. Councilman Cruz. Here. Councilman Galar. Here. Councilman Ken. Here. Councilman Pilger. Here. Councilman Calabari. Here. Councilman Ken. Here. Does any council require any of the following one-year appointment nominations to be pulled for separate action? No? Okay, Liz. Motion to approve nominations of one-year appointments. Motion. Councilman Vetted. Second. Councilwoman Kent. Roll call, please. Councilman Cruz. Yes. Councilman Dillon. Yes. Councilwoman Kent. Yes. Councilwoman Hilder. Yes. Councilwoman Collador. Yes. Councilman Bennett. Yes. If anybody in the audience is here that's on that first list, please stand up. I know our new assistant uh, uh, borough defender is here. If you just stand up, Anthony, just say hello. There you go. Thank you. How are you? How are you? Um, anybody else in the audience from on that list? No. Yes. Oh, stand up. Stand up. Come on. There you go. Introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Matt McGarrow. We're the risk managers. The only point to begin, we appreciate it. Uh, my boss says he was at another reorg, as you can imagine, it's a busy time of the year, so he sends his thanks as well. And we look forward to working with you guys for another term. Thank you. Whichever. David Mario, public defender. Public defender, thank you. We'll go ahead and stress the alternate uh, prosecutor. Thank you, and we all know Michael Crowley is our administrator over there. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Does any council uh, person require any of the following three year appointments and nominations to be pulled for separate action? Seeing none, motion to approve nominations of the three year appointments. Second. Councilwoman Polidori, Councilman Cruz, roll call please. Councilman Cruz. Yes. Councilman Yes. Councilman Kent. Yes. Councilman Hilbert. Yes. Councilman Yes. Councilman Yes. <clears throat> and I think both of these people are in the audience. Please stand up, introduce yourselves, which everybody knows who you are already. So <laughs> stand up. Go ahead. <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> Thank you. Judy and Judge Mason Thank you. I'll be Julius OEM coordinator. Um, my privilege to serve the borough and the residents. And, uh, thank you for your trust and dedication. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Nomination of council president and assignments. Does anybody have any concerns with the assignments as they're set? I do have one added addition under open space. Maria Kent, Councilwoman Kent, would be my appointment for open space. Does anybody else have any other concerns? No? Okay. Could I have a motion? Motion. Councilman Bennett? Second. Councilwoman Kilberg? Uh, roll call, please. Kent. 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 Oh, no. Wait a second. Oh, oh, I oh, I'm sorry. I heard it from this side. I'm going. Okay. Um, yeah, are we doing the council or are we just doing council president? No, all, these are all together. Are you not having a nomination process for the council president? Well, I guess, do we have to have that? Actually, it's in writing here. Do we have to do it and nominate it? This looks like they're all voted on separately. I, mean, I, I think the council president should be voted on Okay. Okay. I think there should be a nomination process. President? This one is for council president. Can I have a motion to elect Councilman DeWine as council president? Motion. Second. Uh, council, uh, woman Palladori, Councilman Cruz, roll call, please. That's interesting. Councilman Cruz. Yes. <clears throat> I suppose so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Councilman Silver? Yes. Councilman Caledora? Yes. Councilman Bennett? Yes. Now, the rest I can do as a group, right? Or I have to read them all? We have to do bylaws. You had the bylaws before that, and then number 10 is the council assignment. Okay. So you could read those together and indicate you're, you're adding Councilwoman Ken. Okay. Token space. Okay. Okay. 
Motion to approve oh. the re-adoption of the 2024 bylaws and the, of the Council and Borough of Palm Delight. So moved. Council President uh, DeLine. Second. Councilwoman uh, Polidori. Roll call, please. I'm just going to use the last one. Okay. Cruz. Okay. Yes. DeLine. Yes. Ken. Yes. Kilber. Yes. Polidori. Yes. Ken. Yes. Okay. Does any council person require any of the following council assignments, nominations to be pulled for separate action? I'm just going to add that same comment I just made a minute ago. Uh, mayor appointing Maria Kent as the mayor's appointee for open space. Okay, can I have a motion? Motion. Councilman Bennett? Second. Councilwoman, oh, this councilman and councilwoman has been driving me crazy. <laughs> councilwoman Gilbert? I don't think councilwoman. Mr. Mayor, just, just for points of clarity, are you at Intending to cover items 10, 11, yes. and 12 in one motion? Yes. Yeah, is that okay? Um, and 13. <clears throat> and 13, yeah. Well, the way that the agenda was written, there was a separate uh, yeah. question to be posed for. I can do that if that's the way we want to do it. Does anybody, I, I, I anybody need to, to do that that way? May, maybe we should, if you don't mind. Okay, so. then let's do it that way. So just number 10. So we're doing right number 10 right now. Right. So we're up to a roll call, please. Yes. I think it's just So it's Bennett and Silver. Oh, sure. Yes. And for 10. Okay. And this is all in favor. All in favor? Aye. 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 Against. Yes. Okay. Does any council person under nominations of council members, does any council person require any of the following council members nominated to be pulled for separate action? And that, for point of clarity, that's for number 11 on the agenda. 11 on the agenda. All those Seeing no one, motion to approve nominations of council members. So moved. Council Second. President uh, DeLine, Councilman Cruz. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against. Does any council person, and this is under council liaison civic, um, does any council person require any of the following council liaison appointments to be pulled for separate action? <coughs> Seeing no one. That's civic and public safety. Civic. I think it's everything. I think yeah, it's, it's just everything. the order of it. Right. Seven. Of the question. Licensing, yeah. finance. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. <clears throat> It'll be civic finance, personnel, licenses, ordinances, safety. What numbers are you going up to? Public works. Yeah. That's all under 12. Oh, 12. Right? Under 12. Okay. Okay. Motion. Uh, I'm sorry. Could I get motions? I'll make motion. a motion. Second. Uh, Councilman Benning, Council Second. President, or Councilwoman Kent. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? 13, council appointments. Does any council person require any of the following council appointments to be pulled for separate action? Okay, this is where, again, uh, the appointment from Maria Pant as the mayor's No, that's not. I'm actually still the liaison. She's the mayor's alternate. There are two council people on open space. Right, there's only one listed. Her name is not listed there. You have her listed as your alternate. No, she's my appointee as to the open space. She's, she's the mayor's appointee to the open space. Yes. And I'm the liaison. Right. Yes. So under 13, I'm listed as the liaison. Yes. That's fine. Yes. yes. You're just adding. The We're just adding mayor appointee Maria. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, can I have a motion? So moved. Council President DeLine. Second. Councilwoman Kilberg, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? 14 appointments, police. Does any council person require any of the following appointments for class two specials? Class three officers, crossing guards. Seeing no one, motion to approve class three specials, officers, crossing guards, full and part time. Can I have a motion? Motion. Councilman Bennett. Second. Councilman Cruz, all in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Does any council person require any of the following board, commissions, committees, agencies, coalitions, appointments to be pulled for separate action? Yes, redevelopment. Okay, redevelopment. Besides redevelopment, any others? Seeing none, can I have a motion for everything but redevelopment? Motion. Councilman Bennett? Second. Councilwoman Kent, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Against. Okay, redevelopment. Concern? Uh, there was someone else that had submitted an application that I'm not sure anyone else was made aware of. I would prefer to have some discussion as to the appointment of that individual over the one that's being uh, appointed here. So that individual has been on the committee. I don't like removing people from the committee that have been doing the job they're supposed to. He lives in town. He grew up in town. He has a business in town. 
Uh, he does a good job on the redevelopment agency, and I have no issues with him at all. The individual that submitted an application lives in town, does not own a business in one of the buildings that was up for redevelopment, posing no conflict of interest, is a 30 plus year Navy veteran engineer who is now a uh, project manager for CBRE in Manhattan, working on some of the largest buildings in the city. And with a 15 story building and other large buildings being proposed on redevelopment, we have the opportunity to appoint someone that I'm going to say probably is maybe one of the only individuals that's ever worked on projects of that size and scope and has expertise that would likely to see most of the um, experience. I mean, we have an opportunity to appoint someone with a vast amount of experience in this and I'm not sure why, again, this year he's being overlooked. Um, maybe a veteran. And I just don't understand the rolling on in perpetuity, especially considering that there has been some conflict of in interest issues with. There is no conflict of interest issues with redevelopment. So um, there are some buildings being proposed that are owned by a very close group of people here. That We're a small community and everybody is friends with everyone. Okay. I think this person is your friend and is, is being moved forward and someone with a lot of experience that could bring a different perspective to the table is being overlooked. Okay. Thank you for your appointment. Uh, for your uh, point of view. Uh, I'll have a roll call, please. For Just for that position, yes. I'm appointing uh, I, I James Kimberlin. I'm, I'm looking at the appointment process for this, so just give me a moment. Okay. This gentleman has sit, sat on this board for five years. He started with us. He's done a good job. The chairperson has said he's done a good job. The board members have said he's done a good job. There's and we didn't have the opportunity to look at another candidate. Just no, it's my appointment. Right, it's my appointment, yes. I, and we all understand that. And okay. It's someone you have a personal friendship with, too. Again, with the personal friendships. I have personal friendships with a lot of people. Yes, uh, the mayor made his nomination, so there's no need for a motion. It's just a roll call. Cruz. Yes. 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 Ken. Yes. Kilburn. Yes. Paul No. Then. Yes. Thank you. Okay, where are we now? Uh, <clears throat> consent agenda. Does any council require any consent agenda item to be pulled or for separate action? Seeing no one, can I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Motion. Councilman Bennett? Second. Councilwoman Kent, all in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Resolutions, I have to do each one individually or can we group these? They probably should have been all on the consent agenda originally. You could, you could have done it that way. Um, can we make a motion to roll them all up into one? Yes, I, I would like that. that. That'd be good. Okay, um, I'll make a motion to um, roll resolutions 2422 through 2431 mm -hmm. as a uh, single vote. Thank Second. you. Uh, it's a motion uh, with Councilman Dawn, second Councilwoman Polidori. Uh, is it was it your intent to make the affirmative vote in support of passage of all the resolutions? Yes, it is. Just point of clarity, and that was also the intent of the second, correct? Yes. Okay. So we can go with yes. all in favor. Okay, all in favor? Oh no, it's a roll call. I'm sorry. Approved. Yes. Dawn. Yes. 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 First readings. We can group these, right? There's just no. no there's just first. There's just two. I know. I okay. Know. Read them all, Liz. I'm trying to save you time, but. <laughs> you know, authorizing the mayor and mayor's clerk to execute a lease amendment with the proclamation of the mayor's Do we vote individually, or can you read? Yes. Yes, individually? Okay. No, Can I have a uh, motion to approve Ordinance 24-01? I'll make a motion. Councilman Second. Pre uh, President uh, DeWine, Councilman Cruz, roll call, please. Cruz? Yes. DeWine? Yes. Ken? Yes. Kilberg? Yes. Polidori? Yes. Dawn? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Ordinance 24-02, an ordinance authorizing Mayor Borough Clerk to execute a lease amendment with the Pondon Lake Riverdale Soccer Association. Can I have a motion? Motion. Councilman Bennett, Councilman, was that Cruz? Yes. Yes, Mayor. Okay. Uh, roll call, please. Cruz? 
Yes. Jawan. Yes. 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 Ordinance 24-03, North Authorizing the Mayor and Borough Clerk to execute a lease amendment with the Compton Lake View Organization. Do you have a motion? Motion. motion. Councilman Cruz, Councilman Bennett, uh, roll call please. Cruz? Yes. 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 Silver? Yes. 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 Bennett? Yes. Okay, we got through that pretty quick. Uh, professional report. Any professional report? No report. You have any report you'd like to report? Uh, I would just add, looking forward to working with all of you in the new year uh, and getting a lot of projects done and moving the borough forward in a positive direction. Thank you. I appreciate your time and energy. Um, under the uh, New Year's address, I will do that in the next meeting, but I do have to address the flooding we had in town. I have to thank all the groups that came out and helped us. OEM, which is, was on top of it from the beginning, police, fire, first aid, CERT, our, our DPW coming in on Christmas to pick up garbage. You know, there, it was a community of people to come and help get through this. I will tell you, you know, I've been doing this a while. We could have been, it could have been a heck of a lot worse for us here in Pompton Lakes, and it wasn't. And I think that's from all the hard work of all the volunteers and our town employees on making things work and flow a little better. There's still some little glitches in there that we want to try to address, and I went to the Fort Advisory Board meeting, and we talked about that a little bit. Um, and we're going to try to reach up the chain to see how to make things better. I don't want to diminish anything. We did have probably 40 homes that took water in at some type or others. We bought out in the last storm, which was 10 years ago, uh, 50 homes. Those 50 homes would have been underwater during this storm. So that's what the difference is. Just before I came here, I did get a call from the governor's office. They will be providing a program to do buyouts and uh, uh, elevations again. Um, uh, that's a good and bad thing. The last time we did those buyouts for a small community like ourselves, buying, selling out 50 homes, we lose the tax dollars on those 50 homes. It took us three years to catch up on that. It's very difficult. So my suggestion to the governor's office is they should come off with a package to help the communities offset the cost of those taxes to make it work. And, and there might be a, um, a meeting of some of the mayors in the flood areas. You know, and I don't want to push our blame on anybody else, but you know, some of the towns south of us did get hit pretty hard. If you were traveling during that time, you knew some of these towns got hit hard. We fared pretty well, considering. Um, so I have to thank all those organizations. That Red Cross has been in town every day. They've been in our chamber here. If anybody who's listening still has an issue with flooding, you can come to town hall. Are they still here, Michael? Oh, first thing. No. Okay. Well, we can connect you with uh, with uh, Red Cross, and they can help you in any way we can. We have cleaning supplies. We have things that can help. The bad news is the governor's office did tell me there will be no FEMA uh, de dedication for us. That the threshold is 17 million for the state, and they're only about two million right now. So they don't think we're going to get a, uh, a, a designation for for FEMA. But all in all, we did well, and I have to thank all those organizations. Okay, and I'm supposed to remind everybody of the time capsule that is buried in the library front lawn, scheduled to be open on January 2050. I think a couple of you might still be here, but I will not. <laughs> okay, can I have a, a motion to open the meeting for public comment? So moved. Council President uh, Dwine? Second. Councilman Bennett? All in favor? Aye. 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 Against? And run for public lecture address. Okay, seeing no one, can I have a motion to close the public session? So moved. Councilman Klein. Councilman Cruz. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, motion to adjourn. Motion. Mayor. Happy New Year, everyone, and thank Mayor. you for coming. I appreciate it. We do have some refreshments outside if you're interested. I thank you. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Mayor, Assemblyman. Oh, I'm sorry, and Assemblyman Jay Weber did walk in. I'm sorry, oh. Jay. I like to announce our dignitaries. There's our dignitary right there. Stay here, Jay. I'd like to say hello. Come on. I'm dead. I'm sorry to sneak in. I'm sorry to sneak in. Oh, God, I'm glad. I'm sorry to sneak in.